Last night, President Trump delivered the fake news awards and presented his list of the real big winners that are fake news. Hi, this is Jack Eason with TrumpRepublican.News, and I'm pleased to announce today the fake news awards as presented by President Trump last night. Uh, and in one of his tweets today, he said, Despite some very corrupt and dishonest media coverage, there are many great reporters I respect and lots of good news for the American people to be proud of. So he's not talking about all news, just the fake news. In fact, last night there were so many hits on the internet trying to get to GOP.com to see the fake awards list, both Republicans, Democrats, and everyone else, the, it crashed. It crashed the servers. So hardly anyone could get access to it. And uh, there were many, many people that had to go just to Fox because they were reporting on it as it was happening. One of the things that I thought might be helpful at TrumpRepublican.News, we have posted the entire list in the announcements section on our website. So what you do is you go to TrumpRepublican.News and on the home page under announcements, it should be right there where you can click on it and you can open it up and print it out if you want, share it with your friends, email it, do whatever you like. But uh, I went to the GOP.com website to see if I could get it there, but lo and behold, it was already gone off the GOP.com site. Go figure. Anyway, if you go to TrumpRepublican.News, under announcements on the home page, it will say Fake News Awards. Click on that. You can print it out, read it, and uh, share it with your friends. Here's the full list of winners of the 2017 Fake News Awards. Number one, the New York Times, Paul Krugman claiming markets would never recover from a Trump presidency. Well, as fate would have it, the day before the announcement, the stock market hit its highest point ever, over $26,000. Number two on the fake news awards, ABC News' Brian Ross bungled report on former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Number three, CNN falsely reporting the Trump campaign had early access to hacked documents from WikiLeaks. Number four, Time report that Trump removed a bust of Martin Luther King Jr. from the Oval Office. Well, what it turned out to be is someone just happened to be standing in front of the bust uh, in the Oval Office, and the pictures didn't show the the bus, so the time reporter decided to say, oh, he's ruined it, he's bad, bad, bad. Oh, fake news. Number five, the Washington Post's Dave Weigel tweeting that Trump's December rally in Pensacola, Florida wasn't packed with supporters. If you can remember back to that this last December, I remember those photographs showing empty seats all over the place. The only problem was this was before everyone was coming into the auditorium, so those seats should be empty. And, of course, he never clarified it until well, well, well after it had been proven that his photos were, were fake news. Number six, CNN's video suggesting Trump overfed fish during a visit with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Uh, that's it's pretty funny. Both Abe and President Trump had a, a small boxes of uh, food for this koi pond, and they both dumped it in into the pond and everything. But President Trump actually emptied out his box into it, which was fine. And people said, "Oh no, they're overfeeding the fish. They're going to kill him. He's going to kill him." You know, fake news, fake news, fake news. It was all fine. It was more than than proper with what was happening. Number seven, CNN's retracted report claiming Anthony Scaramucci Russia ties. Number eight, Newsweek report that Polish First Lady Agata Kornhausen Duda did not shake Trump's hand. Well, that wasn't true. Fake news, fake news. Number nine, CNN report that former FBI Director James Comey would dispute President Trump's claim he was told he was not under investigation. Again, CNN, fake news, fake news, fake news. Number 10, the New York Times report that the Trump administration had hidden a climate change study. 
Fake news, fake news, fake news, not, tr not true at all. And finally, number 11, in Trump's words, Russia collusion. Russian collusion is perhaps the greatest hoax perpetrated on the American people. There is no collusion. Well, we would agree with you there, uh, President Trump. And again, fake news, fake news, fake news. Well, congratulations then to all the winners of the fake news. I hope you start learning how to tell the truth and that, uh, boy, when the time comes for proper judgment on you for lying to the American people, and believe me, that is going to happen eventually. I wouldn't want to be you. Well, those are the fake news awards. And President Trump, we just thank you for doing the job you're doing. Just keep putting the fake news in place. Again, this is Jack Eason with TrumpRepublican.News. And until we meet again, my fellow Trump Republicans, as President Trump likes to say, keep moving forward. Never, ever give up. God bless. <laughs>